Welcome! In front of me I have Sunto Vertical Titanium Solar and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch. And you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button and keep holding it until the watch vibrates. And once the watch vibrates, you can release the button and wait until it boots into a system. And once it boots, you will see this message, select the language. You can swipe left on the screen to open the list of languages. Here you can scroll through the list, find the language you would like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. After you select the language, you will need to set up a profile. So swipe left, select the gender, swipe left, select the uh, date of birth or other birth year, swipe left, select the preferred unit system, swipe left, select the preferred time format, swipe left, select the weight, swipe left, height, and then it will tell you to connect with the Sunto app. So what we need to do is to go to our iPhone uh, make sure we have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store, tap on search, tap on search, type in Sunto, tap on search button, and on the list of app applications you should see the Sunto app. Tap on it to select it, tap on the get button to download and install the application. And once the application is done installing, tap on open, here tap on OK, then tap on uh, continue with Facebook if you want to use the Facebook account or with Apple account. If you'd like to use the Apple account, I'm going to use the email option. So I'm going to tap on continue with email, enter the email address I want to use. Tap on continue. And now I need to enter the password. If you don't have the account associated with the email address you tried to use, it will tell you to basically make an account. I already have an account, so it tells me to enter the password to log in. So now we can log in. After you log in, you, you may see this. I'm going to tap on don't allow. And then we will, you should see the web message saying welcome back. Tap on continue. Right here, you can allow the permission for the location. And this is useful if you want to use the feature, uh, features like map and stuff like that. If you want to allow the permission, tap on continue and then tap on while using the app. Next, we have the notifications. And this is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. So if you do, tap on continue and allow it, or you can deny it if you want to. And here we can subscribe to the newsletter, but I'm gonna tap on no thanks. And after that, you should see the homepage. And at, at the top, uh, or the, in the top left corner of the homepage, uh, you should see the uh, watch icon right here. And if you tap on it, it will bring you to the per device page. And anyway, if, you, if you see, or rather, as you see, you can, uh, uh, the app detected our uh, watch and we can tap on per, enter the code from the watch, tap on per, And here we can uh, allow the permission for the notifications. And here, as you can see, we have an uh, option to connect our watch to a Wi-Fi network. If you want to do it, you can tap on Setup Network. If you don't care, you can tap on Skip to skip this step. I want to do it, so I'm going to tap on Setup Network. Tap on Add Network. Tap on OK. As you can see, we have the list of networks. We can select one, enter the password. And then we can tap on Connect to connect to the network. As you can see, the network was added. And we can then tap on X right here to close this. And next option we can do is to download the maps. So basically, if you want to use the maps in the offline mode without the internet connection, you will need to download the offline maps and you can tap on download maps and select the region you want to download the map of. Uh, you have the list of regions and you can select them. I'm not going to download any for now, but if you like to do it, you can do it. And right here we can set up widgets. So uh, basically you can tap on show widget 
and you can turn on and off some widgets if you'd like to uh, have less of them or more of them. Basically, you can customize it to your liking. And once you're done, you can tap on X uh, to close this. And then we can tap on done. And as you can see, the watch appeared in the app. It says uh, per sync. I need to exit this for it to sync like that. It says connected. And that means that the watch is paired with our iPhone. And that's how you pair this watch with the uh, iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.